Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Virgo. This is going to be for your May 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. We are going to take a look and see um, the person that you're thinking of, dealing with, what their true feelings and intentions are towards you, and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know. Look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations. You may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective, um, for the collective uh, Virgo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Uh, if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. So, Virgo. Tell me about Virgo. The person that Virgo is thinking of and dealing with, what is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Virgo? What is this person's true feelings and intentions towards Virgo? For May 2024, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus signs, uh, you can apply this to new love, current love, and X, okay? So let's see. Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus signs for Virgo. Okay. So we have the Judgment card and the Page of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. So their true feelings and intentions are uh, Virgo is that this person wants to apologize and reconcile here with you. Uh, so ju Judgment, Sagittarius, Energy, Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have the Star card here, Aquarius, Energy. I mean, this person's seeing you as a wish fulfillment. This person's seeing you uh, as their diamond here, uh, as their shining star. With the Queen of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, we have the Four of Pentacles. And we have the King of Wands. This person is really holding on to hope that you will give them a second chance here, Virgo. Yeah, here's the thing. I feel like you have turned your back on this person as of this moment. And I feel like you just don't want to talk to this person right now. Okay, could be dealing with a strong Sag here, could be dealing with the Sagittarius, but you know, you could have Sagittarius in your chart. Any of the energies that I read, you could have those energies in your chart. You know, this person could have those energies in their chart here. Okay, tell me the uh, judgment card. Why is the judgment card here? Judgment, 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 and the Ace of Cups. Someone here is coming to a realization that they're in love with you. Yeah, they are falling in love with you. Um, you know, I, 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 I'm not quite sure what caused the separation here, but I do feel like there is separation because I feel like this person's chasing you around like a puppy dog here. The, uh, page of pentacles and the four of cups, actually, you know, whatever this person's trying to do, you know, sometimes that four of cups can't be a representation that you're rejecting an offer here. Perhaps you're rejecting what this person's offering. Perhaps you're rejecting this person's apology with a star card here and the fool. Yeah, someone here is definitely in this energy of hoping and wishing that you will give them a, a second chance. You know, you will have this new beginning here with them. But, you know, right now, like I said, I don't really see this happening. I feel like you made a decision here and, you know, you made a decision and basically to cut this person out. You know, perhaps in this very moment, you're finding a lot of balance here at this time, okay? Or that you're balancing out your karma or, or that you're you're sort of like not dealing with this person because you don't want to take on this person's karma either. Uh, with the Four of Pentacles here and the Emperor Aries energy and the King of Wands and the High Priestess Cancer Pisces here. You know, if this person is seeing that you don't want to talk to them, this person will respect your wishes here. This person will go silent. This person will kind of like leave you alone, okay? But I feel like this person is realizing that they are destined to be with you, okay? With the Kings and Queen of Wands, this is your true pair. This is a soulmate connection. What else do we have here for Virgo? What does this Virgo need to know? Look out for a work on for May 2024. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Virgo. Virgo with the Ace of Wands. Okay, Ace of Wands. We have the Five of Swords. This person's doing everything that they can to win you back. They want a new beginning here with you. They're seeing you as their wish fulfillment, uh, Virgo. They're falling in love with you with the Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. We have the Ten of Pentacles. This person has a very, very, very strong offer here towards you. This person wants commitment. 
This person wants marriage. This person wants to sail into the sunset with you, you know, and be happy and stuff like that. Okay. So yeah, I do feel like whoever this is, this person's definitely looking to reconcile here with you. Yeah, they're hoping for a second chance here, maybe even the third chance. Uh, you know, some of you guys could have given this person many chances here. The Ace of Wands, the Ace of Wands here, the Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands and the Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This person's rushing back in, looking for a passion new beginning here. There's a lot of knights here. I'm kind of concerned here because when I see a lot of knights, this is an indication that this person's very inconsistent. This person's very flighty here. This person's very fickle. You are turning your back on this person here with the Queen of Swords. You don't want to play their games anymore. You're putting yourself first. You're protecting your, you're protecting your cups at this time. You are being selfish with this individual in a healthy way where I feel like you're not running around trying to hurt this person, okay? Tell me the nine of, nine of Cups here and the Sun. So I feel like when you release this person, you know, or that you stop talking to this person, even though it's hard to let someone go and break up, break up with somebody here, you guys are definitely finding happiness. Yeah, you guys are breathing sort of like a sigh of relief here, uh, Virgo. The Knight of Pentacles here and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, I feel like this person is really sorry for what they did. This person betrayed you, basically. Uh, we have the Devil, Capricorn Energy. This person's kind of... This situation with this individual, I feel like you're realizing that it's really toxic here. Because it's toxic in a way, because I feel like this person, you know, this, you've been through situations with this person and this person hasn't changed their behavior here. This person's also willing not, is not willing to give you what you want and they're not willing to let you go. That is the definition of toxicity and that's very manipulative too. With the Six of Swords here and the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yeah, I feel like this person's really trying to put the pressure on you here. They're trying to regain your trust here. They're looking for your forgiveness, but you don't trust this person. You know, this person's also losing patience here too. The more that you ignore this person or that you, the more that you ignore what they want here, this person's kind of like going a little bit bananas here. Okay, what else do we have here for Virgo? Virgo with the five of pentacles, they're feeling lonely without you. The seven of cups are confused that you're not giving them another chance. Another chance... You know, sometimes another chance what this person's realizing is a gift. And this person's completely taking it for granted because, you know, they're not giving you breathing room. They're not respecting your space here. I feel like this person will respect your space for a short time, but I feel like this person will completely lose their marbles here, Virgo. And I feel like at this point, to be quite honest here, you don't care. Yeah, you don't care, okay? So Virgo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.